All right, now we're doing 7Q square every digit. This is by Mysterious Magenta, and 90% of the people like it. In this kata, we are asked to square every digit of a number and concatenate them. Uh, for example, if we run 9119 through the function, it'll be 811181 uh, that'll come out because 9 squared is 81 and 1 squared is 1. And the function accepts integer and returns an integer. All right, so with this one, what we're going to do is we're going to first start off by making this number into a string so that we can access it uh, in the for loop. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So first we're going to say, what are we going to say? We're going to say uh, let uh, string equal, and to make it a string, to make this into a string, we're going to use this string constructor, which is used to create a new string object. Basically, you put string in front of something like this, and it makes it happen. So let's say string equals string num, all right? And we're also going to have a result. So we can have something to store this in while we uh, do it, and we're going to have an empty string right there. So now down here, we're going to do the for statement, excuse me, the for loop. So we're going to say for let i equals 0. And while, mm, let me call it index, let index equals zero. And while index is less than uh, num, nope, 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 string dot length. So this, which is this, which is this dot length, uh, we're going to say index plus plus we're going to iterate through the indexes okay so now we're going to say uh, result we're going to say result plus equals and we're going to say uh, we're going to say string the element at index at the current index of string we're going to multiply that by itself, right? We're just square. And then we're going to return down here result. Uh, but not res not just result, we have to turn it into a number by using the number constructor, which is ex pretty much exactly the same as string except for its number. So we're going to wrap this in parentheses and type number right here. Now let's see if this works. All right, cool, and it does but I'm thinking, I'm just thinking that's a lot of typing. Uh, we could probably do something a little more concise. So let's see if we can. I'm going to say const here. I'm going to take this, put an equal sign here. And for the rest of this, I'm going to turn it all into space arrow function. <coughs> Pardon me. So right here, I'm thinking we got to turn num into a string. So first, let's go string num. All right, now we're good here. Uh, now I need, we need to uh, be able to access this in an array like thing so that we can use map, okay? And what does that mean? I mean, we need to split it up, which uh, divides, the split method divides a string into an ordered list of substrings, puts them into an array and returns the array. So that's what we're gonna do right here. We're gonna split this up by saying dot split and we're going to split it by the spaces in between the characters because that's the syntax right here. Separator right there. All right. Now we're going to say dot map. And the map method creates a new array populated with the results of calling a provided function on every element in the calling array. So basically you see here uh, they're doing x, x times 2, and then they're saying 1 times 2 is 2. 4 times 2 is 8, 9 times 2 is 18, 16 times 2 is 32 right here. But instead of that, we're just going to make it square. We're going to do something like this. All right. And the syntax we're going to use is the map with the element and then the, and then the uh, arrow function and the function after that. The arrow, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. All right. So we're going to say element. And we're going to say element squared. All right, and then we're going to join it back together 
by this. And we're going to say uh, dot join, which is exactly the opposite of, of split. It joins them together by whatever you want them to be joined by. So join by the spaces in between the characters right here. And now it's still a string, so we're going to use a little trick to turn it into a number again without having to do in the number constructor. We'll just use the uni unary plus operator which precedes its operand and uh, evaluates it evaluates to its operand but attempts to convert it to a number. So that's what we're going to do is attempt to convert it to a number using this plus right here. Let me see if this works. All right, good, great. Let's attempt it. All right, submit it. All right, my solutions. Uh, just me, best practice on here. Very like this one, and we'll see you next time.